Good evening. It is another unprecedented moment in U.S. political history. Former president and current presidential candidate Donald Trump has been arrested and booked on felony charges. Here's the photo. Staring straight into the camera, America's 45th president posed for a mugshot. Donald Trump then left the Georgia jail for a flight home, but not before repeating his claims he's done nothing wrong. What has taken place here is a travesty of justice. We did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. And everybody knows it. Today's appearance marked the fourth indictment this year for Trump and the first for the American people. CTV's Washington Bureau Chief Joy Malbin has the latest. Arriving in Georgia on board his private jet, Donald Trump's motorcade made its way to the Fulton County Jail, where police were on high alert. The former president booked on racketeering and conspiracy charges. And here, this remarkable image, the presidential mugshot. In custody, Trump was read his rights, weighed, fingerprinted, and released on a $200,000 bond. He's accused of leading a criminal enterprise to overturn his 2020 election loss in Georgia. Beefing up his legal team, hiring Steve Sado, described as a courtroom warrior who's defended singers like T.I. and Usher. Eleven of Trump's 18 co-defendants have surrendered, posting bail, including Mark Meadows, Trump's former chief of staff. With scores of supporters outside, Trump's grip on the party is still strong. They tried to impeach him twice. Now they to try to indict him four times. You know, they're trying to eliminate him from the ballot box. With a 40-point lead over his closest rival, some argue Trump won last night's Republican primary debate, and he wasn't even there. If former President Trump is convicted, would you still support him as your party's choice? All hands went up except two candidates, former governors Asa Hutchison and Chris Christie. Whether or not you believe that the criminal charges are right or wrong. The conduct is beneath the office of President of the United States. Trump faces legal battles in four different cases, 91 criminal charges in all. The January 6 Capitol attack plotting to steal the election, concealing classified documents at his Florida home, and falsifying business statements to pay off an adult film star. Trump's booking at the jail took all of 20 minutes. Before leaving the Atlanta airport, he called the charges against him a travesty. I really believe this is a very sad day for America. This should never happen. If you challenge an election, you should be able to challenge an election. A speedy trial has already been set for one of the defendants in October. But Trump's lawyers say that's way too early for the former president, who wants all his trials delayed until after the 2024 presidential election. Anne-Marie? Thank you, Joy.